Yo, welcome everyone. Bitcoin has been chopping around in this specific range for the past days, liquidating as much people as possible. But in today's Bitcoin price prediction video, I will show you how to not get shaken out because three very important and historically very accurate charts are predicting something huge for the entire crypto market. But first, we are definitely going to notice that our level mentioned yesterday was very, very nicely respected. Yesterday we said that if Bitcoin is going to be able to see a bounce towards the upside from our daily high time timeframe area of support, we need to be aware of our daily high time timeframe area of resistance right here, aligning very nicely with our liquidity level from our previous high. Bitcoin got a push towards the upside, hitting the liquidity level and taking the liquidity level above the high and then simply getting another rejection back towards the upside, forming another liquidity grab below our previous low and as of right now, we are simply chopping around once more exactly at the bottom of this some kind of a horizontal range because it really does look like and also it feels like we are now establishing some kind of a horizontal range between two very important levels our daily high term time from area of resistance and also another daily level which as of right now it is still acting as the area of support and once again where we are trading at the moment it looks like majority of the market actually does get shaken out that is why on twitter all only a couple of minutes ago, I posted that, yes, I am expecting that our bottom liquidity level at 61,600 US dollars is actually going to be hit in the upcoming hours potentially, and simply do not let this chop shakes you out. Because majority of the market is very much impatient, they are setting stop losses exactly at those liquidity levels, and that is simply the reason why they are getting stopped out, liquidated, and completely wrecked. Now, another thing that can be right now identified, not only we can look at this specific horizontal range right here but also if we are being slightly more creative we can actually connect our lower lows with a diagonal area of support extending this one towards the upset and what are you going to notice bitcoin might even be trading in some kind of a descending channel with once again a higher probability of breaking towards the upside but as we said before ideally we would actually like us to take out this specific low including this specific low right here where we do have our golden fibonacci ratio hit the bottom of our descending channel and only then continue our way towards the upside more about this specific liquidity level slightly later because the thing is it's not the biggest support level but it's actually one of the levels i'm definitely paying attention to now let me do share with you another and super accurate chart if we look at the bitcoin's history Titan of Crypto actually said that Bitcoin is preparing for a potential October breakout. I believe October could be the month that ignites Bitcoin's explosive rally as we wrap up the year only three weeks left and it really does look like that he's right here paying attention to simply bitcoin cycles including the magd indicator on the weekly time frame and pay attention to what we are as a right now seeing most probably in the upcoming weeks maybe also this specific week if bitcoin is actually going to properly behave that being said if we are going to be able to see some kind of a push towards the upside we can be expecting another magd cross historically speaking when that happens after the having event we are seeing an insane push towards the upside and that is simply why of course hopefully you are right now prepared for another rally because as of right now not only we are in the bull cycle right here at this specific green area but also we are reaching october we are potentially going to see the magdi crossover and yes later we are going to talk about another very important the march and october effect before we do so i would really appreciate if you right now smash up the like button because the goal for today's video is to actually reach 600 likes and additionally i would really appreciate if you subscribe to the channel because we are targeting 100,000 subscribers similarly as bitcoin is also targeting 100,000 us dollars now let's go back into the bitcoin chart first before we actually look at this very interesting march and october effect some people are actually saying that bitcoin got a break towards the downside out of some kind of a head and shoulders pattern let me show you how that looks we can potentially be identifying some kind of a left shoulder right here the head of the pattern and also the right shoulder now in my opinion this specific
specific pattern definitely does not really look perfect. However, if we are right now looking this specific pattern and looking at the neckline and the price target, the neckline of this specific hand shoulders pattern would be at 62,800 US dollars and the price target can simply be measured from the top right here back towards the bottom, back towards the neckline right there and simply putting this trend line on the breakout that occurred a couple of days ago. Theoretically speaking, the price target for Bitcoin should right now be below our previous lows, or if you look like that, slightly lower at 61,000 US dollars, approximately below this specific low. So it really does look like that according to this specific pattern, we are expecting much lower price targets. That being said, maybe not even a successful liquidity grab below 61,600 US dollars area on the Bitcoin chart itself. But again, to be honest, I am not the biggest fan of the hand shorts pattern and I'm also not the biggest fan of the price target. I much rather prefer the golden Fibonacci ratio, the proven levels that work almost every single time, especially when we are trading a reaction off-off. So when we go from our swing low back towards the swing high, golden Fibonacci ratio aligning with our previous lows, where we also have quite a lot of liquidations is as of right now, in my opinion, the next best important level you should be paying attention to. Now, another thing that people are actually not paying attention to is going to be the Adler Stochastic CG Oscillator. Pay attention to this one on the one hour time frame. We are seeing a double top pattern, historically a bearish pattern, you should be aware of right here, and additionally, four hourly and daily time frame are curving towards the upside, which could potentially mean in the upcoming days, of course, we can be expecting a correction, some kind of a retracement on the Ather Stochastic CG Oscillator, which can potentially also be seen on the Bitcoin price itself. Again, we are trading from level to level. So our plan on Bitcoin is staying very, very simple, despite us seeing as of right now some slightly more bearish indications on the Adler Stochastic CG Oscillator. But again, I would also preferably like to see lower targets on Bitcoin because I am actually in one of my short or sell positions from approximately 63,500 US dollars area. Now, that is why the first target or actually my next take profit on Bitcoin is going to be at the gold Fibonacci ratio once we take out our previous lows right here. My second take profit, if Bitcoin does continue lower, breaking the gold Fibonacci ratio, and if there is no liquidity grab, is then simply going to be another very important price target we have been talking about literally for the past couple of days. And that is simply going to be our monthly high term time frame support level aligning with the point of control at 59,000 US dollars. But that doesn't mean that we are not expecting then to actually see a significant bounce to the upside. Most probably October is still going to be bullish for Bitcoin and let me right now share with you a chart from Trading Shot that is right now predicting an insane push towards the upside in the upcoming months. So he's right on pretty much saying that we are seeing usually in March and October some kind of a choppy price action. After that, an insane expansion, an insane bull market actually started. It happened back in 2020 and 2021. Also, it happened right here, March and October 2023, a lot of choppiness. And after that, in October, we started moving impulsively towards the upside, topping out surprisingly in March 2024. And what can we right now also be expecting? Not only that we are also respecting very nicely the one week 50 moving average, exactly the same what we got the last year right here but also we are right now trading at the exact same season march october 2024 theoretically speaking according to the historical data again we are not making things up we are looking at the hard truth right here saying that most probably if the history is at least some kind of going to repeat we can be expecting higher targets by march 2025 that is why we are staying bullish that is why we are looking too long if bitcoin does actually see another push towards downside towards our very important support areas and that is right on the thing right i was even able to get you a free 500 us dollar trade if you are going to click the first link down below in the description why is this right here such an important thing because bybit is as of right now having a trading competition that
that you can join with the second link down below in the description. So this is how I would do. If you don't have an account yet, click the first link down below right here, secure your free 500 USDT positional airdrop. And then if you maybe already have an account, click the second link right here where you're going to join our team. And yes, as I said also right here, once we hit 20 people in the team, I'm going to be doing a $100 giveaway to five people that are going to join the team. So for example, if we are only going to have 20 people in the team right here, you're literally going to have 25% chance of winning 100 US dollars. So I would definitely say take advantage maybe even of the free 500 US dollar trade right here and also of the giveaway if you're only going to join my team with the second link down below in the description. Now let's talk about another very important thing because some people of course are not really paying attention to what is happening in the order flow. What is also right now happening on more lower term time frames paying attention to the 15 minute one. It does look like yes. Bitcoin is seeing a lower low right here, while the price action on Bitcoin is forming a higher low. So what is that going to be? It is simply going to be a bullish divergence, bullish absorption happening exactly at this specific area. That is why, again, we need to be prepared for more upside and also for more downside. As I said before, preferably, I would really appreciate if Bitcoin does go lower for me to actually hit the second take profit of this specific short trade right here. But nevertheless, what if the bullish absorption, bullish divergence right here is going to play out? In that case, we are paying attention to the ascending triangle. We can potentially be identifying on a lower term time frame on the 30 minute one. That being said, what are you going to see? Majority of the market is trading patterns, right? Exactly what we said before with our hand shorts pattern. I am not the biggest fan of patterns because if the majority of the market is paying attention to them, most probably they are not going to play out exactly as expected. That is why, yes, we can be connecting some kind of higher lows right here with a diagonal, connecting our previous highs right here, which it does look like it is going to be in a shape of some kind of an ascending triangle with a higher probability of breaking towards the upside. Now, yes, as right now, it does look like potentially we can be breaking this one towards downside, but nevertheless, nothing major at the moment. And also a bullish divergence is still valid on the CVD indicator right here. So if we are going to see a push towards the upside before taking out our previous lows, bullish divergence is valid. And also, of course, we got a deviation from our triangle, which means people at this specific area looking at the triangle definitely got bearish because they said, okay, the triangle is breaking towards downside. Let's go with a short or a sell position. So in a case, we do see push towards the upside, a bounce from the bottom of our horizontal range at this daily area of support right here. Simply then we are going to pay attention to the top of our range towards this specific daily at 62,800 US dollars. And once again, as we said on our Twitter post right here, that was posted 19 minutes ago right here, price action like that usually shakes out the most people. People. That is why potentially maybe even another swing failure pattern of our previous high. Pay attention to what is happening exactly at this specific area. Once again, if Bitcoin does actually see another push towards the opposite, but preferably speaking, we are looking for a push down because we have still a lot of liquidity to grab towards downside. And of course, also because I am holding my short position and the second take profit still has not been hit. Now, let me share with you another very important and interesting chart that was posted by Decode. He's right now saying that Bitcoin will run when gold takes a break and that time is closer than ever. Two week candles charted. So it really does look like that this specific chart looks very, very accurate. And once again, it looks like we can be expecting another significant pump on the Bitcoin price itself in the upcoming months. Now, pay attention to that, right? It looks like the gold on the bottom chart right here started forming some kind of a correction. Bitcoin was pumping like crazy towards the upside. It also happened, for example, right here, 2021. Gold definitely stalled at this specific area. Bitcoin was pumping like crazy towards the upside. And once again, if the history is going to repeat, I am not making things up. I'm looking at the hard cold data right there. It does look like if we are going to hit maybe even 1.618 Fibonacci expansion level on this specific chart, we are going to form the fourth elite wave, which means that a correction is going to form and Bitcoin can be expecting another insane push towards the upside in the upcoming months. 
So again, with all of those three charts, it really does look like all of them are as a right now saying to us, expect higher price targets by the end of 2024, maybe even by the end of 2025. That is why, once again, we are prepared with our long positions. Our plan, again, is staying very simple. Once we take out our recent lows right here, pay attention to a potential reaction right there. If there is a reaction towards the upside, I am interested to fire a long or a buy position on Bitcoin. And of course, make sure you're managing your risk correctly. Stop loss then needs to be placed approximately below the golden Fibonacci ratio because if the golden pocket is not going to hold, we are looking for lower. We are simply going to look for Bitcoin to take out this specific low and maybe even hit the monthly area of support at 59,000 US dollars. But once we are going to hit such an important area of support right here, to be honest, I'm expecting all of them to actually hold and then for Bitcoin to simply continue, it's October definitely much higher towards the upside. Now you can actually secure a free 500 USDT position airdrop with the first link down below after initial deposit and also join my team on the trading competition with the second link down below because we are going to be doing a giveaway once we hit 20 people in the team. Thank you as well, smashing up the like button.